Right, it's Mr. C with your Saxon Math today. We're looking at lesson 95, and today we're looking at reducing rates before multiplying. Um, this is something that kind of is an extension of canceling. We've been working on canceling with multiplication with different fractions and looking at proportions and ratios. This is kind of the next step with that. Um, and so we're specifically looking at, at different units of measure uh, today. So starting in lesson 70, we started practicing this canceling thing. So where we had three fourths, two fifths, and five sixths, we look for things that are common factors, right? So if we see that five and five here are the same, so we cancel those out and put a one because five divided by five is one. Uh, then we see that the six uh, and the three can work because that those are common factors. So three goes into three one times, three goes into six two times. Um, and then we're left with this two and the four. Two can go into four two times and um, yeah, and two goes into two one time. So then we just can multiply one times one times one, we get two times one times two, and we get one fourth. It's practice. Canceling, um, you know, that seemed like a lot of work, but it was a lot faster than if we just multiplied three times two times five, got a big number, four times five times six, got a big number, and then had to reduce. So it's just a, a different way of doing it. Both ways work. Now with units, uh, we've done this before. We can cancel out numbers. So for miles per hour, remember per or of hour is division. So four miles per hour times two hours and you can always, anything you want, you can put over one, because that just means it's whole, equals. Now we cancel out the hour and hour, and then we just have four miles times two equals eight miles. So it's pretty simple on that one. Since rates and ratios are ratios of two measures, multiplying and dividing rates involves multiplying and dividing units. And that's the tricky thing here, especially when you're working with different kinds of units. So multiply 55, miles per hour, we'd say one hour, by six hours. Now here we can use our canceling, we'll cancel out hour and hour, and then we just have 55 miles times six. Six times 50 is 300, and six times five is 30, so we get 330 miles. Pretty groovy. All right, now let's try with another one. Come on, multiply five feet by 12 inches per foot, okay? So now we can see with using our canceling, we can cancel out feet and nothing else cancels out. So we'll just do five times 12 is 60 inches over one. So it's just 60 inches. That's it. All right, so not a real long, complicated lesson today. It's just something that needs some practice. So let's get going on it. Good luck.